Don't leave me hanging. It's go time. Hey everybody, this is Josh, and here we have the grand finals of the PokerIdol.com tournament. I've been casting replays from it for about a week now, and TLO, I've just been following him all the way to the grand finals. He just kept facing great Terran opponent after great Terran opponent. He knocked off Murs, Goody, Select from Dignitas Gaming, and then Show from Dignitas Gaming, and here he is in the grand finals as the purple Terran down here in the bottom right. And his opponent today in the grand finals of the PokerIdol.com tournament being held in London is Show. Once again, Dignitas Show actually dropping down into the loser's bracket from the winner's bracket finals against TLO, where TLO actually did manage to win that series two games to one. Show got down into the lower bracket finals and faced none other than Dignitas Select, his teammate, and another victim of TLO. So both of those guys on the same team. TLO actually defeated both of them in the winner's bracket and they actually had to play against each other to decide who would play against TLO a second time here in the grand finals. 1500 pounds on the line for the winner of this best of three series and TLO has already shown us that he knows how to play against Show. Obviously he beat him two games to one in that upper bracket final. Now it's He's back for more punishment here in the, the grand final. So maybe Show actually you know, thought about his games with TLO, watched those replays intently, learned something about his German random slash Terran opponent. Maybe he worked out something new against Select, and he's going to try and, you know, actually win this grand final. And Sho actually did win the Intel Extreme Masters European Championship against White Ross, so uh, he has, you know, live tournament experience. He's not unfamiliar with the taste of victory, so perhaps he will be able to bring it back and try and get some victories here against TLO, who actually has been pretty much rampaging in this matchup so far in this tournament. From the round of 16 onward, he has only faced Terran opponents. That is why he has continued to just pick Terran as his race instead of just letting the dice roll and potentially getting Zerg or Proton a matchup against Terran that he's less, you know, comfortable with. So uh, TLO has just pretty much been unstoppable, showing a great understanding of this matchup and pretty much dominance over his European Terran counterparts. But so far in this game, both players pretty much sticking pretty closely with the other player here. TLO is getting refinery up, uh, refinery number two up, while Sho gets a factory up before getting that second gas. So he is going to have the faster mech units. TLO, on the other hand, getting a reactor quite quickly. So I'm not sure if he's going to go heavy bio or add on this factory and flip it over onto the reactor for some Hellions. And TLO remarking, oh wow, a scouting SCV. And of course, Show says it's a mind game because he is sometimes known as the blind Terran. He actually has a reputation for not scouting hardly ever, even in tournaments. Uh, he just is very comfortable with his build orders and likes to wait to play a little bit defensively at the beginning of games and feel out his opponent that way. He's just not... Uh, he's not convinced that scouting in the early game is giving him enough information to actually win, so he usually just leaves that SCV mining for the first mm, five to ten minutes of the game. And I just noticed that the timer is not on right now, so I will go ahead and turn that on uh, just so you guys can see that. Sorry about that. I don't know why every once in a while it will actually uh, turn back off. Show game timer, there we go. But back into the game here. Starport coming up for TLO. Show still doesn't have a starport. He actually added the tech lab onto his factory quite quickly, and he's getting the pre-igniter, the infernal pre-igniter, I should say, which obviously changes the Hellion's flame color from red to blue and makes it do a buttload more damage against light units. Starport coming up now, so he will be <clears throat> even on tech with his opponent, TLO. Eventually, Starport might be the one actually flipping onto the reactor since the factory actually did get a tech lab add-on to make some siege tanks rather than, you know, that pre-igniter upgrade that Sho has been getting. So, tanks against Hellions. If Sho were to attack a lot faster, he might have some success here, but it looks like he is going to bide his time, mass up a lot of Marines and Hellions before actually coming to attack head-on. That Hellion might have gotten up the ramp and seen something. I don't think he did because it still had full HP, and if he had gotten up this ramp those marines surely would have taken some hits off there but um right now just tank marine for tlo with a couple of medevacs coming in for support actually just one at a time since the starport did not flip on to that reactor neither player looking to expand at all which i think is interesting it looks like show is adding on a second barracks now he's going to be making medevacs for his army as well 
Show actually gearing up for what looks like could be a squeeze play opportunity, getting those blue flame hellions in the back. However, this map is not really very well suited for that. Actually, if Show drops some blue flame hellions back here and then presses the front with a lot of marines, he could do some damage, but instead we see TLO marching through the middle of the map with his first tank, medevac, and 10 marines coming up the ramp here. Show his barracks kind of sort of out in front. Show saw this coming, so he backed off with his army, did not want to engage right there at the ramp, so he's going to wait until he can pull some SCVs off the line, get his Blue Flame Hellions in here to try and do some damage from the side. And a couple of Marines do go down. A lot of them were injured, but TLO scooping them up very quickly. His tank is about to go down here. Actually, Sho actually switches targets there for a second, but the tank does go down. Now TLO just dropping all his Marines, trying to run away with his tank, and sending four Marines up here into the main of Sho. Not sure what he's going to be able to do there, as there's a Blue Flame Hellion just lying in wait. And these two Marines, two surviving Marines, do get scooped right back up into that medevac so that siege tank is actually managing to escape it doesn't have any kills though now a viking coming in to try and do some damage to this medevac and at least slow down shows advance for this counter attack here tlo adding on a second factory still no second barracks he needs to keep cranking out these marines here if he's going to have any uh, chance of defending against this huge number of blue flame hellions and marines here uh, tanks sieging up right now could do a quite a lot of damage here to these marines and the Hellions, of course, don't do that much damage to the tank. TLO saying ASF, I'm not sure if he missed micro or something and just got mad or something, but uh, the Siege Tank is going to be... Ooh, he attempts to repair back up. Now all TLO has left are SCVs and a couple of Marines here against some Blue Flame Hellions doing a lot of damage here. Six kills on this one, 11 on this one. Still blasting these SCVs. They do so much damage, kill them nearly instantly. And TLO is going to lose a lot of workers here. Let's look at the income tab as that last Hellion goes down. There are still how many Marines here? Four Marines here for show that can't see up this cliff. So TLO realizing this just takes a few free shots, actually manages to splatter one of those Marines there. But TLO down to only 13 Harvesters, show at 24. I'm not sure why he's sending these Marines up here. He knows that TLO has units out. Siege tank and Marines are going to quickly destroy these couple of Marines from show. He could have easily just backed off and helped out this next little push of two tanks and two Marines. Not sure what he did there, but apparently both players are lagging significantly and having to ask some observers to please leave the game. But uh, back to my initial point, TLO is down to 13 Harvesters. Show actually had double that count for a little while, and now TLO trying to desperately rebuild here. He's got SCVs queued up just so he doesn't uh, forget, and he actually just loaded up some Hellions into a medevac of his own. Does he have pre-igniter? Uh, uh, yes, he does actually have the pre-igniter upgrade himself, so he is actually going to try and do a drop in the back. Initially, I thought Sho was going to be the one to actually try and do that, but uh, Sho sticking to a more traditional push up the front, apparently. TLO kind of hurting for army supply right now. Sho is ahead 58 to 43, and he is pretty much nearing the ramp right now of TLO. He's going to be able to blast up here, kill off these marines with vikings for spotting, and uh, TLO is sending three Hellions up the front, going to be able to snag some reinforcement kills right there, very nice. Uh, Sho actually did manage to expand, and then he's dropping three Pre-Igniter Hellions in the back. And the Supply Depot is down for Sho, so they are just going to run right in there into the main mineral line. We'll keep those other Hellions in the picture in picture, but look at all these SCVs just ripe for the picking. Sho is not even attempting to move them, just look at the pile of debris. Oh my god. <laughs> There's just incinerated SCV ashes all over that mineral line. It, almost every single SCV there just got destroyed and show uh, just now trying to come up here and defend against this. TLO might actually be able to escape with these Hellions even. And show meanwhile, is at TLO's front, still trying to siege up the cliff here, uh, but TLO has a couple of tanks of his own, so now it's kind of a sort of spotting war. Um, it really just depends on who can see what. And Sho does manage to snag a Supply Depot right there, but both players at similar army counts. Actually, TLO way ahead because he has workers, and Sho does not. These th the three more Hellions here um, slowly getting dismantled by this tank and Viking. But Sho has essentially no workers. He's only got five SCVs total, no gas. So if the units he has right now don't actually manage to kill TLO. TLO can just sit in here, continue to make one tank at a time, a couple of Marines, a couple of Hellions, you know, whatever he wants out of this starport, and he just has to bide his time, and eventually uh, he's just going to overwhelm Show. Show has no economy. 26 Harvesters for TLO, only 8 for Show. Those Hellions just doing massive amounts of damage. Uh, TLO forced to retreat his starport here to the back, canceled that reactor, but he's going to have plenty of units here to deal with uh, whatever show attacks with at this point.
a little bit more frustration from these players. I saw Shoutcraft was forced to leave the game. That's usually Total Biscuits' um, account for casting. I'm not sure if he actually casts these games or not, but um, just too many observers can cause lag, obviously, and if, the, if a lag screen pops up and it's an observer and not a player, you know, it's totally within their rights to ask them to leave as tournaments can be cast from re replays, which I'm doing right now, so it uh, makes sense that they would want the least amount of lag possible. So as Sho loses these last couple of units here at TLO's base, uh, TLO is actually adding on a command center now. Sho has gotten some workers back up, but he lost his entire fighting force there. He's only at 14 harvesters, now 16 single siege tank parked in that mineral line, but TLO uh, with the superior army value, actually just barely superior. I'm surprised Sho is even able to keep up that much, but um, he's only got a handful of marines and a medevac. TLO has these Blue Flame Hellions, splash damage from Siege Tanks, and the Starport not doing anything right now. But um, TLO figures he has an advantage. He killed all those workers. He knows that. He doesn't really feel the need to counterattack immediately. He's just going to continue massing up here. Uh, he's only building one tank at a time, honestly, at this point. And here come some Hellions. Ooh, they find these Marines here. They're going to gun those down extremely quickly, and Sho is too slow to try and pick them up. He's going to just save what he has left there on the side, and these four Hellions are going to continue to cruise all the way up to Sho's natural. Torch a Marine. Torch another Blue Flame Hellion. It goes down extremely quickly. These Hellions, keep in mind, actually are light units themselves, so Blue Flame Hellions do a lot of damage to other Blue Flame Hellions. More SCVs being slaughtered right there. Mules going down. There are yellow corpses sinking into the meteoric rock here. And TLO just does so much damage with these Blue Flame Hellions. Every single TVT that I watch show back down to only six harvesters. There are more Hellions in the back doing damage. Show just reeling right now. He has essentially no economy once again and TLO is just content to you know fly away with his medevac there are no vikings really in the area or in the air at all if we look at the units tab he has no vikings TLO says WTF drool is still in poor drool lagging the game I'm sure I can't believe how many observers in this game are being asked to leave uh, it's kind of interesting in these live tournaments these live events there is no land play, so obviously each additional player that's watching the game is going to lag the game a little bit. And I guess it got to the point where the lag screen kept popping up, and these players, of course, want to play their best in the grand finals of a tournament with 1,500 pounds on the line. So observers just have to get out of there. But um, obviously I'm not going to have a problem with lagging since I'm playing offline here. But uh, all these last remnants of Sho's army coming in here getting blasted down by these siege tanks he's going to move in with his medevac and there's only really one marine here for anti-air but uh, TLO of course can get over here quite quickly he's got a blue flame hellion a marine and a marauder already here to deal with this and it looks like he is going to clean this up without any problems I can't believe Sho is even still in this game he's he's getting more SCVs now but he's still in single digit workers uh, which he, <laughs> he was in single digit workers you know um 40 seconds into this game and now we're at the 18 minute mark and he's still only got 10 now that's pretty ridiculous so TLO just terrorizing his mineral lines he's still got a medevac up here there are no hellions left in it but he has just been relentless with those blue flame hellions murdering shows workers every chance he gets i'm surprised show has been able to really build anything and survive as long as he has tlo has a lot of tanks he should really see the army value be heavily in his favor now yeah 86 supply against 48 here comes another medevac with some units loaded up tlo is he going to stop to try and shoot this down Looks like the Marines at least are going to try and chase down this medevac. There's no turrets really here. Uh, TLO starting to move in with his entire force through the middle of the map. These Hellions aren't really going to score any SCV kills at all uh, as TLO just pulls them all away. Actually, he doesn't even really care. He's just going to continue to move through here, kill off this medevac, and one more shot. Is he going to kill it off? <laughs> Uh, I guess not, but um, <laughs> Sho just had reinforcements streaming through the middle there. He's going to be forced to GG. This force is way too huge for what Sho actually has in his base, which is a handful of Marines and a Marauder and all these prone SCVs. Uh, it looks like he tried to do a little bit of an attack here in the back of TLO's base, but TLO just pulled all his SCVs. He had a Marauder, a couple of Hellions, and a Marine, and a tank, actually, and a Viking, all just hanging back in his base. So TLO murdering workers, doing what he does best in this TVT matchup. He's going to take Game 1 in these Best of 3 Grand Finals for the PokerIdol.com live tournament in London, England. And now let's go into Game 2 to see if Sho can try to scrape his way back or not or if TLO will be our PokerIdol.com champion. 